I decided not to bother even going outside today to record this. I mean, honestly, I wasn't going to make a video. I felt like the uh, stream really said everything. I mean, I just about died of trying to watch this race, and that kind of summarizes how it went. Um, it was stupid. It was a mess. It was shit so central like it always is. I mean, it was Talladega. I mean, what more do you people want? It's nothing special. Um, my TV actually works this morning. Um, that's that's probably the most surprising part about this weekend is that the TV hasn't shut off, shut itself off overnight. That's that's the most surprising part about all this, honestly. But um, like the point is, the point that I'm trying to make is that this was a rough one. I mean, before everyone started wrecking, it was boring. Nothing happened for the longest time. In the truck race, there was a there was some fright training, but and the thing is, there wasn't even that much fright training in this race. There wasn't much, and yet I still think it was more boring than the truck race, which had a lot of, oh, and had a lot of fright training. But, like, there was a hint of tandem drafting in the truck race. A hint. Um, it was far more unpredictable. I'd say the truck race was far more unpredictable. Because I'm pretty sure everyone knew what was going to happen in this race. I mean, up until the final stage, obviously. I mean, it was just going to be people sitting there in the front leading and no one doing anything for the longest time. Um, this is the fourth plate race since stage racing has happened, and I still keep forgetting that they split the stages when they pit. I still keep forgetting that, so that's good. <laughs> that's good. So I didn't expect that, but I'm sure everyone else did. And... Um, it, yeah, that's uh, good stuff, man. Um, I got nothing. Um, yeah, this was just a mess. I mean, it was Talladega. That's I just there's no way other, there's no way another say this. I mean, I could just say it was Talladega, and that's the whole video. Like there was. Nothing really of note to really say in this. It was just Talladega. I mean, we had no surprise winner. I mean, I guess it was kind of surprising that Kligerman won the truck race. Kind of surprising. But there really wasn't anyone else there to challenge him at the end. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I just... Mm. There were less cars running at the end of that than there were in the, in the, whatever they call the Bud Shootout now. Monster Energy Clash, that's what they called it. Yeah. We are so far gone from that. Oh god, it's been eight months since that race. And the whole season's developed and all that stuff, but yet it's still the same thing. Everything's changed. Nothing has changed. Yeah. It's, uh, Talladega. I really... Yeah, I've really added nothing to this race that I didn't say in the, in the stream. So this was a very pointless video, because I've got nothing left to say. It was very stupid. Um, Kansas. I assume Truex will dominate, so I'm not going to complain, but I'm sure it's going to be a boring race. The question is, was this worse than a game, than a race, that you already know the outcome of before, you, before it starts? Does a boring race that ends in a demolition derby, does that... Is that better or worse than a race that you can look at the entry list and say, oh, that's the guy that's going to win? I don't know. I don't know. I can't say. 
But the thing about it is, if it was more unpredictable, and it was still, it was if it was still a demolition derby, but it was far more unpredictable because, I mean, it was obvious that you know Keselowski and them guys are going to be up front all day. And the problem is, is that I don't understand why people allow that to happen in the race. I mean, why would you? Why would you work with someone that you know is going to be up front all race long? The, there was really no part of this race where it was anyone's game. It was whoever was the leader and whoever was second. It was between them. And then there was just a bunch of cars behind them. I was, I was glad when Blaney was leading. That was nice. But beyond that, I just did not care for this race. It was boring. And then everyone started wrecking. I guess the wrecks were entertaining. I mean, the first the first big one was like, okay, there it is. There it is. We've been waiting all day for this. And then the next two wrecks that happened after that, I guess that was pretty unpredictable. I wasn't expecting that many more wrecks. But, yeah. Really didn't need to make this video, but hey, gotta get them views. Am I right, lads? Them views. I'm sure people are going to make highlights of the stream. That will probably be way more entertaining than this video. But, uh, yeah. This has been a race review. Yep. That's toilet paper. Right there. That is my toilet paper. I've had, I've, I've had that for two months. I've been in school for two months. That's when I bought that, and I've only... Like, gotten halfway through one. Because other people are in this place. And I usually try to use my own, but I almost always forget to take it with me. So, yeah. Nothing to see here. That could summarize this video.